Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. We've got a unique piece for you. This is a 1986 Pulse Light Star. This was created by aircraft designer James Bede. They produced 374 of them, and you guys might know James Bede because he created the plane car in the movie Octopussy. Let's go into full details and let you guys go for a ride with us. Let's do it. asking yourself, Jonathan and Bullet Motorsports team, why did you buy this airplane car? Well, I've seen these for several years and I've always wanted to get one. This one was extremely clean. They just put in a new Kawasaki 500cc engine in it and it just showed very well. So we were able to purchase it and bring it here and now we're going to give you guys a guided tour. In regards to overall condition, I would rate this a 7 out of 10 because it does have minor imperfections. And remember, they only produced 374 of these, so there are a lot of differences between each individual piece. They're handmade, so you're gonna have minor imperfections. Some of the body panels don't fit. But the key to fame on this ride was 100 miles per gallon and 100 miles per hour, which in reality is around 50 miles per gallon, which is still better than a Prius. The side profile is very nice. I love how they did the black accents throughout. You have all of your vents here for the, uh, for the air to get to the engine. And then in order to open up your cockpit, there you go. It has two seats, you have a blower motor, you do have an aftermarket stereo, and we'll go into details on the inside of the cockpit when we turn this thing around. But in regards to minor imperfections, we just have minor rock chips throughout, small imperfections near the lights, and one cool thing, so you have a switch here, I don't know if you're able to see it, but there are LED lights throughout the front fascia, so when you're driving it at night, it looks like a spaceship, which is really neat. Let me close this and turn the plane around. We're on the right side of this beautiful aero car. Uh, what's neat about it is at, in certain states it's titled as a three-wheeled vehicle because only three wheels touch the actual ground when you're driving it and we're going to showcase that later on in the video. So you have two smaller wheels on both sides and as you're driving it, it's either leaning on one side. It's actually quite easy to drive. Emil has driven it. No time to explain, Marty. Get in! more than I have, and he kind of fell in love with it. So you'll probably see some clips of him on our social media. So if you want to see that, go to Bullet Motorsports on our Instagram or our TikTok. This side is extremely clean. It's the same as the driver's side. You have minor paint imperfections throughout. Everything is pretty easy. So you, in order to get to the engine, you're going to take all these bolts off, and then you pull this hatch off, and you're going to have the battery back here. You have, it looks like a five-gallon fuel tank in the rear, and we have photos of that, and then a very clean engine. The engine was put in in 2022, batteries from 2022. It starts up nicely and it runs very well. I love the front end because you have a headlight that actually pops up when you click the switch and we'll show you that in the video too. But if you turn the lights on, isn't that neat? I'll leave it on so you can see it. Uh, mirrors are from, I don't know what, it looks like a motorcycle. The front glass is very nice and it's actually glass. It's a cool one. Let's turn it around and get inside. Let's take a look at the interior. You open this up like this. It's very easy. It slides on these rails. You do have two seats that match the actual exterior appearance. So you have a nice yellow stripe here with black sides and it matches the whole entire overall appearance outside. In order to get in, you just climb right on there with the corner of the wing. So you step here and you can get inside. You do have the gauges from a motorcycle. So you have a speedometer that goes to 140 miles an hour, which we're not going to test out. Voltage gauge, fuel tank gauge, uh, gas gauge operates as it should, your light controls, you have your horn, and then you have additional components like a cigarette lighter just because you want to smoke in your jet. Uh, you do have an aftermarket stereo here that sounds great, it actually plays great music. Blower motor controls, the whole nine yards. What we're going to do is we're going to spin it around and take it for a test drive. Let's do it. Do I need like an airplane license for this or what? No. No, I mean, it, like wings. it technically has wings. Yeah, I agree. Well, before we take it for a test drive, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any questions at all, or if you like this content, please be sure to click like and subscribe below because that's going to help the whole team here buy more unique pieces like this.
If you need help selling your car, you can also click on the link below and we'll assist you there. Let's take this for a spin. All right, we're taking the 86 Lightstar for a test drive. This is the first time I've driven it. It's actually, it feels just like a motorcycle for the transmission. You can kind of gauge where you need to shift. It feels very light. I'm going to take this corner right now and you're going to see that only three wheels are touching the ground right now. I have the, uh, the actual capsule opened up a little bit so I can get some air, but you do have a blower motor which you can turn on, but it's really nice out today. It's overcast in Florida. This is probably the wackiest vehicle I've ever driven. So they made 379 of these. And you guys can see all the information about this one if you click on the link below. Also, if you like this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe because that's going to give you more great cars as well. Clutch setup is nice, so you have to keep your legs spread out. Hey, yo! It does have an aftermarket radio. It's very light. Horn works. Light operates. Oh, so cool door opens up easily so you can swing it open and then you have two locking mechanisms right here I'm gonna keep it a little bit open just to get some airflow you also have a fan switch so you can keep the temperature down Neutral is easy as well, so you can just click it up, and I'm in neutral. This is nuts. Absolutely insane. We're going to go over the Marina Mile Bridge, let you guys decide if this is what you want in your collection. This is a really unique one. I think everybody needs to jump in something like this to test drive it. It's actually not hard to drive. Um, clutch is easy as well. You can roll it. acceleration when we turn around up here. If you guys want to fly in and take a look at this, you guys can do that. We are five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale Airport. This is insane. Steering's nice. We're going to do a U-turn up here and test her out, but I mean, it's got plenty of get up and go. 40 miles an hour with no issues. We're at the top of our uh, last gear right now. So they built this to apparently do 100 miles per gallon and be able to do 100 miles per hour. In reality, it only did 50 miles per gallon, which is still an impressive feat to this day. We're, we're getting filmed by everybody right now. <laughs> The transmission's super smooth. So we're gonna test out the acceleration here. So we're gonna put our uh, acceleration mode on right now. And uh, we'll see what she can do. Temperature's good, voltage is good. We've got the fans running for the rear to keep the engine cool. This is so much fun. Once again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call. 954-363-2261. It has 3,100 miles in total. 
Very easy to turn around. You ready to test her out? see you go on to the three wheels. Imagine bringing this to bike night. Here comes the first set of bumps. So we go over these bumps on most of our videos so you can see how the suspension reacts. Here comes the first set. Not bad at all. Here comes a big dip. Very smooth. We're going to get over. Again, if you guys have any questions, give us a call, 